Hey! Hello! Hey. Jeremiah! What's up, guys? What's up? Where are you? You're in Dayton? Yeah, man. Dayton, Ohio. Dating in Dayton? Yeah. <laughs> How old's your kid? One and a half. He's talking. He's, he's, he's amazing. 18 months is the peak That's of cuteness. Is. This is the best they're going to be. And then... <laughs> and uh, and and so what happened? So you you were you with his mom for a long time? So we were together for uh, four years, and then she started to come to church with me. And I think my church kind of like drove her away. And then as soon as we got pregnant, they were like, "You guys need to get married." It kind of put a wedge in between me and my parents too, because my dad's a minister. A few months ago, she came to me and she just is like, "I don't think that." Uh, you're the right person for me. You can't really argue with that. You just respect them. We've been extremely cordial and nice to each other through all of this stuff, but it's been hard. Yeah, of course. Well, I'm glad to hear that at least you guys have a good relationship and that you're, I guess, co-parenting. Yeah. Why don't you kind of walk us back to how you met Linda? Okay, I downloaded Wink. I just wanted to try a different dating app. And I instantly matched with her. She said hi to me. I thought that she was beautiful. Was Linda the first person that you matched with or did you match with anyone no, else that you talked to? I matched with uh, several other girls, but Linda just had the look with the dark hair, beautiful eyes. She looks exquisite. I love your adjectives that you use to describe Linda. They're so beautiful. <laughs> Obviously, we understand she's beautiful, but what else hooked you so much on Linda? Linda is very spiritual. She cares about God. That's something that we connected on. She doesn't seem like a person who is opposed to my traditions. So I thought that that was cool. Yeah, you guys talk about faith a lot. Yes, that, that, that has been a primary thing because it's not something that is widely talked about today. It's kind of like politics is something taboo. It's like it's easily offensive to people. This is the only person that I really felt hit the boxes that I was looking at. I think when you get a little older, like attracts like. I think that you do need that in a relationship. For me, it's like, sorry guys. <laughs> um, I guess I'm just kind of like in a different place. So I'm trying to just really just get back out there. I really want to just move forward with something different. And I just really want to know her. I want to build my life forward. You message back and forth. So what happened next? She gave me her phone number. She actually talked to me on the phone. It wasn't long. It was more of like, hey, and then quiet, quiet, quiet. How are you today? And she's like, I'm good. Da, 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 da. And uh, <laughs> she's like, I can't hear you. Da, 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 da. Bye. And then she gets off the phone. Uh, so it was, it was brief. Yeah, it wasn't very long. Now the second phone call I had with her was a little bit longer. She was like, hi, how are you? How's your son? She actually acknowledges my kid. Typically you tell a girl that you have a kid, they feel like uh, they're competing with your kid. So for her to just treat me like that, it just really took an edge off. She, she just like really made me feel like I could induct her into a larger family. Wow. I feel like she could be my ideal person, and we can have a masterful relationship. Are you looking at Linda as if she's some sort of gift from God? That's what I would say, yeah. I think that she's a gift, I do. So I'm assuming she's sent you photos that are not just on Wink? Uh, she has sent me photos that are not on Wink. She sent me three. Oh, she did. Okay, so she has sent you a few photos. And does she have any social media? Did you guys follow each other on Instagram? Now, see, that's the kicker. Nope. She does not have an Instagram. She does not have a Facebook. So I thought that that was weird. She didn't have a Snapchat. And then one day, she added me. So now she has Snapchat, but she's not willing to FaceTime. She just hits me with, I'm not tech savvy, or she'll try and throw an attitude, like, uh, why are you asking me this? Like, I've done something wrong. Okay. Her having an attitude when you ask about it is a little suspicious. Mm -hmm. She was born in Poland, right? Is that? Yeah. I think she moved here when she was like younger. So she was like oh. seven or eight. So she's or been here a like while. That. Yeah. 
she told me that her she lost both of her parents uh, in a car wreck. Whoa. But I don't know what age she was. She didn't specify. Wow, okay. Does she have a job? Uh, she's a hairstylist. Do you know her whole name? I know Linda Rose. Her middle name is Rose. Okay. Do you know how to share your phone screen? Yeah, I could definitely do that. I want to see this immaculate gift from God. I want to... <laughs> yes. Oh, cute. So there she is. She's very cute. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, she's definitely very attractive. I reverse image searched her pictures and nothing popped up. All right. Well, that's good. So I thought, like, maybe this is, like, a, like a real person. It gave me hope. I'm just asking if you guys could, like, Scooby-Doo this s rip the, the mask off her and, yeah! <laughs> you know what I mean? We can see what's going on. I, I really just want to move forward with her. All right, so send us everything you got in an email and see what we can find. I appreciate you guys, like, really, for hearing my story. Because you didn't have to, so I, I, oh. I really want to thank you. Nobody ever says that. We'll be in touch as soon as we have uh, an update. Oh, All right, guys. Jeremiah. Um, it smells fishy. It's very hard for, for, for me at this point to accept. I don't know how to FaceTime. I can't talk on the phone because I can't hear you. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot. Sometimes when you think something is too good to be true, it probably is. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.